For nearly a decade, I've been running Crank Brothers Egg Beater pedals. And recently I started using Crank Brother candies on a few of my bikes. And honestly, I like the egg beaters the best, but today is a major change for me because I'm gonna give up my Crank Brother pedals that I've used for years to try out fun Mamba pedals. These are an SPD style pedal that come in several different formats. And I'm gonna go through all the different formats and break this pedal down and show you some of the unique design features that it has. And then I'm gonna give it a shot and see what I think. So the Fun Mamba comes in two different sizes and also two different configurations for each one of those sizes. There's the regular Mamba and then the Mamba S. The S stands for small, and that small means that it's a smaller platform around the SPD style pedal. Now, either the Mamba or the Mamba S come with either a double-sided clip-in option or a single-sided clip-in option and a flat on the other. So if we're gonna look at the weight differences between the Mamba and the Mamba S, let's take a look at the Mamba. The Mamba is gonna come in whenever you get the double-sided pedal at 500 grams. If you get the single side, it's gonna come in at only 450 grams. You do save about 50 grams going that route, but you're not gonna be able to clip in on both sides. So if you're gonna be racing your bike or you wanna have a quick clip in, I recommend going with a double. And if you're gonna be using this bike for riding around town and then also shredding the trails, maybe the single-sided pedal is for you. Now, if you're wanting to save that little bit amount of weight for your XC style bike, you're gonna to wanna to go with the Mamba S. The Mamba S double side comes in at 465 grams. So the double sided Mamba S is actually almost as light as the single sided Mamba pedal. And then if you went with the single sided Mamba S, you're only looking at 405 grams. These pedals are significantly light considering that they are a full size platform pedal with a clip in option in the middle. Now, if you take a look at my Crank Brother 3 egg beaters that supplies zero platform option, you're looking at 280 grams. Yes, it may be significantly lighter, but you're not getting that platform to clip in on. Not only that, these SPD pedals, unlike the Crank Brothers, give you the option to actually adjust these. So as your cleats wear out, you can tighten down your SPD pedal. That will allow you to continue using that same cleat for a very long time. Now, one of the things that I really appreciate about this, that fun added to this pedal, is what they call their GRS system. This is a little system that allows you to add grease to the spindle without having to disassemble the entire pedal. Now disassembling the pedal is really, really easy, but look how easy it is to remove this little screw where you can add some more grease, pop the screw back in, give it a spin, and then you're good to go hit the trail. Now let's go ahead and let's take this whole thing apart. It's super easy to take apart. All you need is a couple of Allen keys. You're gonna take this end cap off right here. And then once you got that end cap off, you can see inside the pedal that there's a standard spindle nut. Now just grab the right size socket. And then on the other end where the pedal meets, take your eight millimeter Allen key and pop that into place. Now you can simply work between the two wrenches to loosen up that nut. Once it comes off, this spindle pulls out really, really easy. Now the seals on the spindle make sure that there's not gonna be any water or dirt getting inside here to cause any damage to these pedals. And if you look down at the end of this pedal here, you can see that it's got a nice sealed bearing so you don't have to worry about maintaining that bearing for a very long time. Now that I got the spindle off, let's go ahead and remove that GRS port just to show you guys how directly this port acts as a spindle for whenever you're adding grease. As you can see, sticking this Allen key right through that port, you can see it's just a direct shot right to the spindle. Now, if you're into adding pins to your actual pedal, even if you're clipping in, on the clip-in pedals, you can add up to four pins on each side, and Fun does supply those in the box. Now, if you get the single-sided pedal, on the flat side, you can add up to 11 pins. Now, just like in typical Fun fashion, you're gonna get a lot of colors to pick from. Me personally, I love the black pedals. Now, for the regular Mamba line, you could be looking between $115 to $120, depending on whether you want single-sided or double-sided pedals. And for the Mamba S, not only are they smaller, the price is a little bit cheaper, about 110 to 115, depending on whether you want the double-sided or the single-sided pedals. All right, let's go ahead and get these installed on the Marin Rift Zone and the Polygon Sync Line. I'm really curious to see what I think of clipping into these for the very first time versus clipping into the Crank Brother pedals that I'm really used to.
have the cleats installed. They went on just like any other cleat, really easy. And I hope I got them lined up right, but we're gonna find out real quick. All right, let's see how these things clip in. Oh, that's so smooth. All right, see how quick. That's gonna be nice. Locks in good. Releases really easy. It is gonna take time to get used to the platform. It's similar to like the candies and the duos that I had for Crank Brothers. I find that the platforms tend to get a little bit in the way whenever you go to clip in. That seemed pretty quick that time. But uh, I think just with a little bit of practice, this should be pretty nice. Now I did ask Fun if they were gonna design one that was just like the actual clip-in portion itself, more specific around XC riding. And uh, hopefully we'll get something like that in the near future. But uh, this could be pretty nice. We're gonna have to see how this feels. This feels a lot better than the Crank Brother platforms that you can clip into. I don't feel like I'm hovering above the platform with this. I feel like I'm on the platform. So this could be quite a bit more stable. Let's stop right here and unclip. Oh yeah, I came unclipped real easy. Both feet, clip back in. It's, it's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to the clip in, but that seems to be pretty quick once you kind of get it down. The nice thing is, is that platform will let you kind of, let's do an example here. Like if you just, if you're just wanting to get going, you can just simply just push down on the platform, get going, wiggle your feet, and get clipped in. You don't have to be precisely on it every single time, which is nice, because sometimes you're in a situation where clipping in is really hard and tricky. But with this setup, you don't have to worry about that. And I'm gonna give these a couple of months to see what I think. And then I'll let you guys know, but so far so good. I can feel that platform underneath my foot. And that's actually really, really supportive. Maybe the extra added weight is gonna be worth it. So now the weight is on to see if I'm gonna permanently switch from Crank Brothers and go all SPD with these fun Mambas. All right guys, thanks for watching this. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I put the links down below if you guys wanna purchase some of these fun Mamba and Mamba S pedals. But as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.